So guys, I wanted to uh, talk about this uh, video here talking about Doki. I wanted to actually do this video, a couple other videos pertaining to her character, um, but you know, life happened. But uh, then I wanted to actually do this video uh, a couple of days ago, maybe even a few days ago. But um, but basically, I, I'm I'm on like my third day of vacation. I still wanted to do this video today, uh, even though it's a little bit later in the day. I've just been kind of just relaxing, chilling, um, or whatever, just taking a break from from life uh just because i needed it but um hopefully i'll be able to push out uh this video today and maybe another one in a couple of hours from now and then also get another couple of out tomorrow because we're in preparation for uh episode eight this sunday um I definitely cannot wait for season two episode eight of demon slayer commits no yaiba but i wanted to focus on Doki here um like i said i i originally wanted to do an, another video from basically from episode seven maybe episode six even um probably will still do that that but that video probably won't come out till a few days later but Doki specifically we know that you know now for those who may not be reading the manga um like i pretty much just decided to just sit and read all of the chapters of the rest of the red light district aka the entertainment district of the anime um but we know that specifically Doki was hyped up like a lot to be the upper six ranked uh moon right she was fully hyped up right but but then we see that during her conversation um with uh <laughs> with tengen and he you know he downplays her he could tell you know basically like if this was star wars he would use the force he would be basically be a, a force sensitive user that he could tell um, that Doki was not an upper six moon. He literally says it like you're weak, blah blah blah. <laughs> um, there's a there's a um, there's a gif going around and meme going around and stuff like that talking about this. Um, even now, the past couple of roughly, going to say 72 hours now, maybe longer than that. But um, you know, basically, Tengen telling her to her face, like you know, even with his best thing, even with his back turn, saying you're not. You know, you're not the demon that I've been looking for, blah, blah, blah. But what we find out is that, you know, her brother was attached to her. That Yu Taro uh, decided to, to show up at, towards the end of episode 7 last week. And he basically shows up strong, powerful. And we find, you know, we basically see that I, I personally want to believe that because he was connected to her that she was using some of his strength that she was using um some of his demon uh powers to be able to seemingly seem like she was upper rank six moon and again like i said that's not the case at all and now granted Doki is a very dangerous demon let's not act like she's not you know tanjiro um tanjiro zanetsu inosuke they they pretty much um wouldn't have been able to beat her and that, I, I mean and, well, like that's the thing i don't even want to like sit here and say like fully that they wouldn't be able to be because tanjiro definitely seemingly seemed like he was getting ready to do so uh at the end of episode six but again you know uh hanako showed up and stopped him so that's why i'm saying like they you know prior to tanjiro having that that I, I'm still coining it that berserk uh, transformation that he had uh, until I get an official name for it uh, once I continue reading in the manga because I am going to continue reading the manga uh, once the season is over with I'm going to be doing videos on that on those chapters that you know Tanjiro in this transformation definitely seemed like he could have beaten um, he could have beaten Daki most definitely I definitely believe that uh um Nezuko would have beaten Daki for sure. That would have been a no brainer hadn't what happened um in the you know, towards the you know, well the middle of episode seven last week between her fight and when she saw the the lady hurt and she was gonna attack her. Now if that didn't hadn't occurred, Daki would have more than likely got dropped. That's just what I believe. Now, would Giotaro still show up? Yes, I feel like Giotaro would still show up in episode seven in that fight. But because Daki called out to a brother and he shows up, that's when we see the, the actual upper six pop up. It's just that, like I said, it was like his 
it was like his his aura or something was surrounding her and it was uh exuberating um if that's the best word i can i can come up with to describe this video is that Doki was exuberating um an upper six level presence um the essence of it but it wasn't specifically her it was indeed her brother Giyutaro. Um, and I believe that she was just using bits and pieces of his ore, bits and pieces of his demon power to be able to function as if she was an upper sex moon. So, um, so yeah, you know, she, again, she was still a dangerous, um, demon, you know, Tanjiro before he got the transformation had definite troubles in fighting her. Um, I believe that Inosuke and Zenetsu would have still had trouble fighting her. Uh, but I, again, I do believe that uh, Nezuko would have been able to beat her. But again, it, like I said, Giyutar would have more than likely showed up anyway. Because he's definitely not going to let, you know, somebody uh, fully hurt. And I, like that's the thing. Like, even with her, that's the thing. Like, her being burned and stuff like that, I kind of find that, even if I might do another video on that, kind of find that interesting that Giyutar didn't show why her body was being burnt um, to a crisp, basically. Or at least half of her body so um so yeah she seemed like she was but she wasn't her brother is the actual upper six moon and now we're getting ready to prepare to walk into you know, roughly um 30 plus hours from now we're getting ready to walk into episode eight with this fight between tengen and guitar to come but leave some comments in the comment section below guys what do y'all think of this video let's let's talk about some things in the comments below let me know your thoughts um what did you all think of Utah showing up in this in this episode last Sunday. Um, but other than that, I will hopefully talk to y'all next time with more Demon Slayer Commission on Yaba videos. Peace, guys.